What's up guys, welcome back for another video. Today's video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about my week seven of flight training. And I'm also gonna go ahead and talk about the different requirements that you need for your first solo cross country without an instructor. So without further ado, let's get into it. Thank you so much for watching the video and stay tuned to the end. All right, so moving right into the video. So for my week seven of flight training, it consisted of five different cross country flights. Um, one of them was a cross country with my instructor. That was basically him showing me the ropes, showing me how to do everything, uh, kind of going through how to do like a nav log, uh, GPS, you know, do stuff like dead reckoning and pilotage, which is stuff that you learn in your ground school, but now you actually get to apply it. So that's really cool. Um, after that, the next three flights were solo flights. Within your private pilot phase, you're gonna actually have to be required to have at least five hours of solo cross country. So once we get that cross country with the instructor out of the way, now the remaining flights that I had this week were actually all solo. So um, for that, you actually have to meet all of the different requirements for 6193 of the FAR then you're actually allowed to go solo for your cross country. For me, uh, I'll go ahead and put my four flight right here and talk through it. My flights were between Tampa Executive to Venice. It was a uh, 58 miles one way. And then we came back. The very first flight was pretty cool with my instructor because we he actually took me through the Bay of Tampa. So I got to pretty much see everything there. And it's just so different seeing everything from, you know, bird's eye. Um, then the second flight, which was my first solo, that one was just a straight shot from Tampa Executive to Venice, um, which is really cool because uh, I did the same flight the previous day, but now I'm just doing it by myself and I showed my proficiency in it. So just going through the uh, flight, basically, you're going underneath Tampa's Bravo the entire time unless you have clearance. For me, it was underneath Tampa's Bravo um, and then over Sarasota's Charlie. So stuff like that, you have to kind of just worry about the different air spaces um, and your navigation in general. And then you also have to keep in mind of weather. Um, once you're getting within like 20 nautical miles of your destination, start toning into their ATIS. Um, and you have different all, all the different procedures that you were trained on. My second solo was the very next day. So for that solo, it was actually um, really cool because for this one, I actually went and went all the way north 50 miles. Um, I think it was 52 miles to Crystal River and a little bit less of uh, like sightseeing in that flight, but basically same procedures, um, picking out your different reference points, you know, knowing your heading, flying there. You also have the GPS, so it's, it's very helpful, very easy. Um, and then my highlight of that uh, flight was honestly, I actually flew up north and I live up north from my airport. So I actually kind of flew right over both where my girlfriend lives and where my parents live and just did a little 360 around the house. I had called my mom before I told her, I was like, hey, you know, I should be flying over the house in about 30, 40 minutes. If you want, just go ahead and go outside and start like recording. And if you see you playing, especially circling around the house, uh, record it. So she did, I'll put that video right here. And also um, it was pretty cool because in general, I was able to find my way around just by knowing the landscape. So, and that's part of pilotage, so. Uh, overall, pretty pretty good flight. Um, my next flight was a actually cross country with my instructor again. This one was a long cross country, so that just means it's a cross country flight that is still above 50 nautical miles, but it's at three different airports. Um, so that one was pretty cool. Got to see another airport that was um, Bartow, and then we actually did our first uh, saw field landing over in Lakeland. So I got to experience that and it's, wow, so much different from a normal normal landing. Same thing with the takeoff, just being on the grass and not pavement, so so different. But very excited um, and I, I can't wait to 
be able to do it on my, by myself, you know, with training and all that. Um, and then the very next day was actually my first night cross country. Um, that one was also with my instructor. So same thing we went to this time we went to Venice. So, um, we're using the same airports, but this time was cool because it was at night and honestly, the views were great, but at the same time, you really can't see anything. So like the views weren't that great. Just seeing the lights was cool. Um, definitely would prefer like sunset or um, the sunrise flights. Those are the coolest times of the day. And I mean, you get to see everything. Traffic's not as busy. Like those are the times to fly for sure. <laughs> All right, so moving right into part 6193 of the FAR. And for those of you who aren't aware of what 6193 is, it is your pre-solo requirements for you to actually do your first cross country. Now, these different prerequisites for your first cross country are gonna entail receiving an instruction flight. So basically going over all the procedures that you're gonna need um, with an instructor and doing it with your instructor first. Um, then you also have to actually go ahead and show proficiency in the different types of maneuvers and procedures that you're going to be doing on your solo flight. You're also going to be have to show your proficiency in part 6187, which was your pre solo requirements. And so you definitely have to do that before you do a cross country. And then you're also going to have to receive ground training um, as far as you going ahead and going into your pre solo. So that was my week seven of flight training. Bunch of cross country stuff, super fun. Definitely feeling like a pilot now, so that's awesome. Um, loving it, loving it, loving it. Can't wait to keep on going. Um, now, moving into my final requirements, and next week that's gonna basically entail um, I have to do three hours of night flying, and then I also have another hour and a half of simulated instrument flying. Uh, once I complete all that, then I'll actually have all my requirements and I'll be good to go do my check ride. Um, but of course we're gonna actually have some check ride prep before that so definitely a little bit more training left but super excited things have been coming by really fast and i'm um, very very happy and as far as how the channel is going um honestly i just wanted to give a huge shout out to everybody and all my subscribers um family friends and people at that you know i just met through youtube you guys have been great I uh, never expected that we actually hit 500 subscribers this week. Um, like I said in previous videos, I kind of just kind of, you know, wanted to make these videos. That's why they're vlog style, just so I could look back on them when I'm, you know, done with the whole entire process. So I only expected maybe two, three subscribers, which were my mom and dad and like my girlfriend. <laughs> but no, we're over 500 now, so I just want to say a huge shout out to you guys. Love the community. Um, love all the different questions. Um, I think I'm going to kind of switch over to doing my vlog style throughout the videos and then answering like specific questions, not only in the comments, but maybe doing like shorts, especially if they're like frequently asked questions. Um, then that way it's just a little bit easier to record. And at the same time, uh, you know, it puts the content out there for people that need to ask. Um, so with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share with anybody you think that might enjoy these videos or, you know, just need some type of motivation and, you know, wants to see the process behind becoming a pilot. All right. And with that said, see you for the next video. Peace.